Welcome back to another video guys. This is Farm Fishing. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my new uh, Crested Gecko setup. Um, I got this from the thrift store for $5 with the lid. So really good deal. Just make sure you got your check at your thrift store if you want to build a new terrarium or something for an animal and yeah let's get started so first up is my drainage layer I'll be using uh, lava rock since I have a lot of that and it doesn't my only dislike with it is it doesn't look that natural so I'll go ahead and Now I'm going to be adding some other aquarium rock from previous builds. So I'm going to add some stones now to keep the layer down. And then I'll rearrange them once I get the substrate. Here I have some Exoterra plantation soil, which is going to be my substrate. And maybe a little bit of coconut husk, but this is pretty much just coconut husk. Now that we've got our substrate, I'm going to add branches and details. I'm actually going to add a little bit more substrate because I'm going to be planting my snake plant 
back into here so I'll add some more substrate and get back to you guys so I got the dirt put in now I'm gonna be adding this snake plant from its previous enclosure Now I'm going to add more finishing details. So here I have Fluker's Reptabark Forest Floor Substrate. It's like $5 for a bag like this. Just at Walmart. I'm just gonna add it where all the sticks are like ended. Maybe scatter a little bit. I don't want too much, so I think that's going to do it. I think it looks pretty good. I'll go collect some pill bugs to go in the enclosure to be my cleanup crew. And then I'll call it good. I just got back from the dollar store. I picked out uh, some Velcro sheets. I was gonna do magnets, but turns out they don't have magnets at the dollar store. So I'm going with this, and I got some super glue to add on to the Velcro. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this on. So, guys. I just got a bunch of pill bugs. There's actually an earwig in there I need to get out. But I got a bunch of them and we're gonna be adding in them. I just barely got them so they'll be fine. There's an earwig in here so before I dump them I'm gonna get it out. We got it out. So now I'm gonna add the pill bugs or roly polies, or however you call them. Most people around here I know call them roly polies, so. Make sure there's no other books in them. Yeah, we're good. It's probably like a dozen or two dozen, but these will clean up all the waste. But now we got our whole cleanup crew. And there's a lot. These will be pretty clean. Get you guys for a closer look. They're all right there. 
crawling, making themselves at home. And these are isopods. Another word for them. Now I'm going back to the Velcro mechanism. I'll just do this part off camera since it'll be easier. And I'll catch you guys once it's done. Well guys, there it is. right there. One thing I do want to do is add more plants, but it looks really good. And I'm glad on how it turned out. Well guys, thanks for staying tuned. And... So, update on the bullfrogs. Three of them uh, died. It's probably because of something in the water or from the moss. Because the other one I put into my 10 gallon with all my fish. And it's doing fine now. So, I think it was something to do with the water. And so, yeah, just had to update you guys on that because that happened and so on the terrarium build i know i didn't find any leaf litter in this video but i'll probably collect some during fall and i really like this terrarium a lot better than my last one because my last one was just a bin my gecko kept on getting out and it was a pain. And so, make sure you stay tuned for other videos. I'm going to be posting pretty much every weekend. So, that's what I have been doing. That's what I'm going to be doing. And we'll see you in the next video.